Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we built a lot of smelting. Um, and we're excited about this. So we have some iron smelting down here, copper up here, and we are on the hunt for more copper because we want to do this injection bus idea. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work, but you know what I want to do also? I want to take some power poles and make a, um, make uh, a radar station down here. Let's just do these. Usually, oh, wait, whoops. I didn't realize we had a radar down there. Just want to see what's out in this kind of middle of nowhere area. Have the radar scan out here for us. Hopefully we'll find some copper soon. Anyway, here we go. Let's put that out there. Okay. We got stuff. We got things. All the stuff and all the things. Which is great. I guess we don't... Oh, that radar out here, of course, it's for the um, just continuity of the base. Okay, so what do we need here? So we got our steel processing. Let's get the steel axe, which we probably won't need. Um, I'm just going to research these random bits and pieces uh, for now, just to get them off the research menu. So later we don't have to wade through them. What I'm going to do here, though, is do this, and then we just want to remove these power poles and we can recycle them. Yay. Nice. Okay, so we have things working. Now, we were looking at the power situation. We are actually at about 70%. Jeez. Um, but we need a lot more iron to accomplish that. So I need to go and pick some up so we can craft some more, uh, steam production units there. So we probably have plenty of those. Yeah. Let's go ahead and I want to make a full set of like 10. So let's see, we have, I don't know how many we have. I think we have five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So let's go ahead and make... Uh, 10 total, which is going to be, let's just do this here. So that's um, eight. And then we need a half of one, which is the half that's going to have the power poles on that side. So we'll do this. Okay, cool. Did I not do this? I didn't. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, good. When I say one, two, I'm right clicking to produce five units at a time there. So we have, those were quickly made, but now we need um, to make a lot of gears and pipes for the rest of these guys. So we can do something else while that crafts. We're not in an emergency power situation at the moment, so it's fine. Um, I think I would like to make more fast inserters. We seem to have a dearth of those. And I will pick up regular inserters, which we don't have because I forgot to put these things in a box. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> whoops. Eh, it's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Get a little bit of uh, copper there. Let's get a few green circuits. And we're pretty good here. So here... Let's just make sure that we have stuff getting made. We do not because I forgot about the steel. Now, I'd like to make a couple of temporary steel arrangements. Uh, that would be these. And they are going to use these guys. Maybe. Um, if I can find some more inserters, which we should have a few made already. Very nice. 37 made. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. So let's take this out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just remove the entire structure here. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need these two. All right, but that can still function. I still want the inserters to function uh, because those are needed. Needed. All right, so let's go here and we're going to... Yeah, we have that. Cool. Actually, we do need the coal still on the uh, thingy thingy. So let's just use these. 
and we can actually grab a little bit more coal from our coal mining thingy over here. Now coal, as you probably have guessed, goes quite a long way, right? You don't need nearly as many coal miners as you do uh, ore mining machines. So coal is pretty, pretty robust that way. All right, so let's take out the steel. We can now make things with steel, maybe. Um, which we're going to need for the blue machines because we don't have those yet. But we need some for those steel boxes, which we need. We have three. Oh, come on, thingy. Give us more than three. Gav. Gav. I'm going to turn off the bots for the... Okay, is that enough? Okay, we needed eight for that. These are slow. Just slow. There we go. We have one box. Oh, no. <laughs> one box. <laughs> Aye, we need to wait. We need more. We need more. It takes so slow. There it sounds slow. They take forever to make. That's not great. All right. Well, we don't have to wait here around for them just yet. We just needed to get some belts working. Okay. Um, the others are going to be filled in uh, in a second. We'll get to that. Uh, beyond this mall. And the reason I add this mall this way, you can do it on your own um, and build malls yourself. I used to do that. Build a mall every single time from scratch. Um, and that's okay. I kind of like this. This is not that big. Um, so it's a little bit less, um, I don't know, overwhelming to use. But as you see, the first things we're constructing is inserters. We have a whole line of different inserters that we're making. We first put gears on this belt and then we uptake the gears as well as the iron plates. And then these get taken in and made into all of these inserter types. So we need to get those going. We need to actually to make some more iron chests, which the mall will make for us eventually. Um, but definitely those steel chests. Let's see, how many is that? 16. Perfect. That means we can get our last two belt boxes made. Oh, we forgot about that. Grumble, grumble. It's annoying. It happens, though. Oh, dear. I paused to do a thing, and it took a lot longer than I expected. And it's like, oh, where was I again? Anyway, um, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do stuff. Um, we're getting the steel axe right now. One of the things that we need to do immediately is set up the new um, science over here, and we definitely are gonna need copper for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to just do a this and do a that. There we go to share those copper lines there. Now. It is good that we set this up. Oh yeah, that's right. We were making these steel boxes. Of course we were. Right. Um, I think we already got them, in fact. There we go. Yes, we do. So that gives us um, access to new stuff and things. Yay. Undergroundies. Hooray. We'll pick up more later. Um, oh my, the rain is coming. That's scary for me. Ooh, scary. Um, but we're going to try. We're going to be okay. Uh, because like my uh i have some some issues with stuff and it's like oh makes me scared so uh the science so when we do science um we're gonna do a typical one per second and i say that with quotation marks because um we have cycles and these you cannot actually get it to go one per second um so what we need to make here is so red science needs gears and it needs copper plates so we're going to make red science in each of these thingies if we look at the ratio of red science um it takes uh half a second crafting time but these are half a second or half half crafting speed. So half, well, when you multiply it, it takes one second. It actually does take one second, doesn't it? So anyway, um, I usually make, I think, 10 of these guys to go with the iron gear maker because the, the gear maker makes one every half a second. So I think it can supply... Um, one gear every half a second. No, these take five seconds crafting time, not half a second. My goodness, my brain is just not working today. Anyway, 
So, and I was like, how does that work out? Because I know it works out. I know it works out. So these, basically, a gear takes half a second to craft. These take five seconds to craft, okay? So we need, we can supply 10 of these guys with one gear maker. That is the correct ratio. So let's just put these out. First of all, we want to have the... Um, the iron coming in here. There we go. And this is going to need a fast inserter because of the amount of stuff that's coming out here. I think this can do with a slow inserter. These guys can do slow inserters or regular inserters. Uh, here we go. And then this is going to come back this way. So um, what we want to do here is we can do a number of, we can either do something like this and that. We want to put it on that side, or we can do something like this without needing that. I like that better. Um, it, it, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's as variable as we all are as people. It doesn't have to be a particular way. Uh, I can't tell if that one's covered or not. Um, oh, this one isn't covered. Okay. Let's get power poles, because... These are using um, the big power poles or the medium sized ones, I should say. So I'm just going to take these across and uh, exchange energy this way. Okay, there we go. So now we have, oh, we have a wrong thing. Ha, whoops. Oh, I put the copper on the wrong side. You see how, how inserters always place on the opposite side of the belt. And I didn't uh, think about that properly. So we're going to do this instead and put it on that side of the belt and we're gonna just clean it off press f as you're walking to clean it off all right there we go and then we can just give these extra copper plates to the machines and they will be able to get stuff now we want to copy this section make it a, a repeatable section with belts along the whole way and make 10 of these so that's four six eight ten okay so that's enough to fully um uh, use this produce from this gear maker. So that's red science. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a belt going that way there. Now we want to do green science. Now green science is a tiny bit more complicated. Let's see. Let's make some more of these guys. We definitely need more some things. Oh, iron. Okay. Let's get more iron. I like having this counter on the bottom. I've never done that before, and it's nice. It is really nice. One, two, three, four, many. Okay. I like how to count, right? <laughs> so on the green science, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, we're going to start green science right from the get-go here. here. Let's go. Let's go ahead and turn our bots back on, because I forgot that I completely turned them off here. And get these bits and pieces placed. Okay, looking good, looking good. We are getting stuff and things. Now, these guys are going to have kind of the same uptake as the Red Science, um, but they're going to be a little bit different. Okay, let's get power poles here. I love using the Q to... Actually, we don't need on this side because this side is going to supply... I believe they should supply them. So let's see if we can do this. Um, this side is going to need 12 because they are... Uh, take six seconds. So that's two. Actually, the fastest way to count is just take your decon planner and go over the top of it and then press escape. Yep. Or Q. I forgot about Q. I didn't grab the, um, the belt because there was a corner here. But what we're going to do is just have machines on this side producing to go around the corner. Um, if you try to do a production like halfway up, and just not have this other belt, some of the machines are not going to get fed. So it's important to do this. And so what are the components of green science? We haven't actually looked at this. We have transport belts and tr inserters. Very important there. So um, what I like to do usually is a an arrangement like this. You can do it differently if you want. But um, we're going to have these guys on either side of a belt so that they can output um, quickly and easily. Hooray. So this is going to be transport belts, if you couldn't guess already. Oopsies. Yeah. There we go. And this one is going to be gears, of course. So this is going to be, this needs 
uh, stuff, a lot of stuff. This needs less stuff. Let's go and get some more inserters. We're a tiny bit short there, and we also need a lot of undergroundies. And I'm going to pick up some iron as well here. Nice, we got a hundred inserters there. Boom, beautiful. That means we have a little bit of leeway to make some more of those. Okay, we're going to get these and these and... Um, what else? Do we... No, we don't need belts. Let's, that's the one thing we don't need. Okay, perfect. So here, I think we can just do something like that. And then this will be there. We need to pick up inserters there. So inserters, they need green circuits, uh, iron plates, and iron gear wheels. So we just make a gear maker here, just like we did for the other thing. I don't know how much, how many gears do they need per second? They need one gear per half a second. And this thing makes one gear in half a second. So that's perfect ratio right there. So now, basically the only thing we need on this, or the thing we need on this, we need iron on one side and we need the uh, green chips on the other because this one also needs green chips. But the iron, luckily, will be able to feed um, the gear makers as well as the, um, the inserter makers. So let's get this powered up. That's important. Okay. So these should be able to make green science very shortly. And let's just get this in place. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna split this side right from the get go. And usually I'll do a this so that the green circuits can be able to come in here just easily like that. And you could do an undergroundy here or you can do it here. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, it only matters as much as you want consistency of the look of your bus, but it doesn't really matter that much. So here we go. We're getting stuff and things made. Uh, we need a faster inserter here because this is getting two different products. Um, and it's been a bit slow getting these inserters going on. Oh, we forgot to put a power pole here. Oh, that's right, because there aren't any on that side. But the other inserters on this side, yeah, they are taking power from these power poles that we put down, so that's great. Have we found copper yet? Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, no. We might end up having to go out there and look ourselves or put down more radars. That's another option, of course. So yay, things are working well. Let's check on power. Oh, wow, wow, we're actually almost at, at the limit again. Again, again, oh my, oh my. So let's get this stuff, um, get this down and like make more bus because that's basically what we need going forward is more and more bus. Very nice, very nice, okay. Uh, now this science, look at this, we got green science and it's automated even better, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build some labs. Um, now I wanted this, yay. Um, materials processing, solar energy is also nice. We want the, the power poles that come with this. Tool belt, sure. Circuits, yes. Solar energy, yeah, I think we want some solar energy. Okay. So now we have a thing. Um, what we need to do is build a lab arrangement. Let's go ahead and grab the labs that are over here. Um, we can also craft some more because we probably will need more. Oh, that's right. We never put these steam engines down. Oh, that's nice. That's a big boost actually. Cool. You can hurry this up by just grabbing the chest yourself because they have to take each plate individually unless you have a um, uh, uh, multiple like uh, there's research to have your uh, bots carry more than one item so yeah that's a thing okay cool we're getting plenty of labs made this is exciting we got green science this is really cool so, uh, we do have labs. Let's put one down. Now, how are we doing this? I kind of forgot. There's a way to have them grab everything from one side. I'm going to do this. 
We need to actually have the other belts though for that. Oh, okay. You know what? We'll just rebuild the labs. It's fine. We'll fix it later. It'll be fine. We, we could do car science. Okay, so we'll have a, an impromptu vote in the chat. If you want car science, let me know and we'll do car science. If you don't know what car science is, it's basically using cars on a conveyor belt to carry the science packs. It's crazy and it's silly and it works. It's great. It's actually a very high, put, high throughput method of transferring science. Um, yeah, it's great stuff. Really great stuff. Okay, let's just take these down. Hooray. There you go. Now we're researching everything. Wait. Oh, these don't reach. Okay. That's fine. We'll just put them on that side. It's fine. All right. So that's what we got right now. Everything is now working. Um, we can also just copy this whole thing. I don't know how many we made, but several. And as long as we've got science to feed them, we might as well do it, right? Oh, 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 we're getting up higher. Oh, no! <gasps> we accidentally built over the iron patch. No! Oh, no! Oh, that's sad. Okay. I think what we'll do instead of that is we'll turn this and have it go this direction. I think that's a better idea. Oh, no. I, I didn't even think about that when we put that down. Ah, crap. Oh, well, it's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Just turn this. <laughs> Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, what we can do is just do an X like right here. That's a nice clean cut, actually, right before we have the thing. So let's see. That L shape. Okay. So we can put this down like right here. Uh, yes. Dead gray tree in the ray. Oh, sad times, man. Okay, that will go there. Now, we do have... Gonna try to keep this out of the way of the thing. Of the, uh, the patch. I don't know if we've gone far enough, but... We can always snake belts through. Now that is always an option that we can do, but it does look like we might have enough space for this. Let's see, this is so silly. Oh my God. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. No worries, it'll be fine. That, I should get a shirt. I, had, I do actually have a shirt with that made on, don't I? Yeah, I do have, yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool, very cool. We can actually start connecting some of these things up, but at the moment we, Oh, we can make, oh, we can make assembling machines. We just need more of this stuff. We need more steel. Um, and I'm going to turn off my bots right now because I want to make the thing making the assembling machines first. Okay, we need to, oh no, we have to replop it, but it's going to replop over this part. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. It'll be fine. Um, this is, <laughs> this is messy. This is why Factorio is interesting for all these years is because you always have different things happening all the time. So here are, wait, what? Uh, oh, I didn't notice that this was a... Wait, did it copy? I'm not actually sure what happened here. Did it repeat? Because this looks like the same machine as this one. Do I have two of these on there? Um, okay. Because that's the same machine. That's really, really weird. Because I think this is meant to be the, the uh, machine that's supposed to work. That's so strange. Okay, it's fine. It'll be fine. We won't worry about it too much. We'll just ignore it. It'll be fine. All right, more of these. Thank you. And yeah, hmm, interesting. Uh, okay, so we can now make 22 of those. Again, the thingy is off. Let's make these 22. Let's get more iron. 
and we can make more probably another 22 excellent i'm going to place them down individually right now we might just have to look at the other picture just for reference you know but maybe that's the way we go so how's go how's it going here these are these seem to be going well they are slightly waiting on gears maybe we need to upgrade this one yeah now it's not waiting okay that's good it's a little bit faster, just fractionally, but the amount of time we're going to run this, it's going to be uh, necessary, I think. Uh, we do want to get this one done for sure. We also need to make some red inserters, which we don't have. Obviously, we, we want to do inserters first. That is needed. Uh, and we're going to need to make these power poles. So we need iron sticks. So let's make more iron sticks. It's just iron, many power poles. Yep, okay, better. Many things are happening here, many things. I guess we could, we don't have any assembly machines. Oh no, we don't have anything, <laughs> we don't have anything. Uh, now's a good time to explore, right? Actually it might be because we can take this thing further out. All right, let's do that, let's explore and we'll put more radars out in the world. Okay, where am I going here? Okay, let's just go straight to the right. We'll find our power poles eventually. And we'll just put in more... More radars. Uh, yep, maybe even kind of going downward and upward. Just find the end and then go diagonally either direction, I think. Also, one thing that I do is um, drag the power pole behind me, just FYI. Because it can be that you trip over your own power poles. <laughs> and it's not as, I don't know, doesn't look as nice. Let's go. I thought it was going to be easy to find this copper, but man, it's taking quite a lot of exploring. Okay, let's go here and click you. Radars do actually have a really big um, area that they scan in. However, it does take a significant amount of time for them to scan it. So yeah, there is that. We're gonna do the same upwards. I don't know how far that, that lake or sea extends. Um, so it'll just be kind of up to wherever we get to here. <gasps> we found copper already, hooray! That's nice. Cool. It's a tiny patch though. It's not very big. So we'll have to just kind of like see. Oh, there's there's more iron there as well. Gosh, this is a good spot. Okay, we found things and stuff. Let's go and walk by this iron and just see how big it is. For the chunks to appear on here is what we're looking for, really. And then copper. Let's see. On the map, it says about 23 million. This is 51 million. It's it's a small patch though, and the bigness of the patch is what determines the um, the amount of throughput you get from a patch. So throughput is important because it means items per second. Okay, um, the the total amount will be extracted over time. And I do I did set the map for very rich patches if you remember from the first episode. But you need to make sure that the patches themselves are pretty decent sized. And I did set that up in the beginning uh, setup, so that's good. So I don't feel like I have to explore too much more right now. I think that that's fine. We can set up a train to go into those places. Um, I would like to set up solar panels because, or production of solar panels, I should say. Um, we can also set up more of production of iron. Uh, that looks about um, saturated. But I don't know, actually. Let's see. Let's get these guys going here. And we'll get these. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's see. Is this saturated? It's not quite. But we can maybe maybe we can fill it out from here. I think we'll just take this here for now. Okay, so this definitely needs more miners. Um, our crafting queue is almost done, so that's quite nice. Hooray. And then, 
Um, we don't have our bots on because we wanted to hand place these things. So let's just do that. Oh, okay, go there, there. And then pipes are good. And then I don't know what's going on there. This needs to be made. And this one and this one. I think this one is the upgraded those. Yeah, that makes sense. So radars, lamps, coils, yay. Is there meant to be a gap there? I don't think so. That seems weird. Okay, anyway, we definitely want to get inserters made. Those are really important. So to get that done, oh, oh, we, we ran over this, unfortunately. It was just our walking that did that. Uh, this one is just iron. So let's get that in there. Oh, we ran out of undergroundies. Let's go pick some up. Do we need splittery dues? No, we have too many already. Nope. Uh, actually, the iron is going to be coming through on this. No, it's gonna not actually going to be coming through on that line. That's why we were skipping it. That's actually supposed to be a copper line. Anyway, so we have also green and red circuits coming through. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to take the green circuits, but because it's only meant to be half a belt, we need to put the opposing belt so it just forces it onto one side. Um, okay. What else can we put on here? We can put, okay, we can put some this on there. Okay. And then we need to do a thingy here where we do this and do it that. Okay. And then we need to, we need to have space for this iron or, um, steel. Okay, here we can put in our green circuits, which is nice. Oh, I forgot about stone bricks. That's a nice reminder there. And in any of my builds, um, unless it says specifically you have to have it on one side, you can put it on either side. So the batteries here can go on the other side of the belt. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so the, all of these are happy. They have been satisfied except for stone bricks and batteries, steel, red circuits, but we don't need those in the early game. We really don't need those in the early game. So things are starting to percolate. I'm going to turn on my bots now and they are going to put stuff down. I did make a fair amount of power poles, but I do want to increase that amount right now. So let's make some more power poles all till the end. And I'll make some more wooden ones as well. Um, though I should have a thing here for making wooden power poles. Or maybe not. I don't remember if I did or not. Sometimes I I would put those down. Sometimes not. It just depends. So you can just like drop off all your wood and you no longer have to carry it with you. Uh, anyway, so now we have good stuff going on here. I think we need another one of these. And I wonder if we kind of like overrode it somehow with a, the other power pole. I don't know. But yeah, here we go. We're making stuff. We're doing things and stuff. So we need to, let's pause um, the robo ports again. We need to make some red inserters because right now we can't get some of them. We'll put those power poles after. Let's put all these after. Okay. Now we're going to make red inserters. So these are very, very important. The ones that I'm putting down first. Um, and then we'll get the rest of them added in a bit. Now the red inserters, if you're totally new to the game, the red inserters allow you, as you can see, to pick from the far belt. So we have this new technology which enables us to, to use the far belts. Okay, that won't cover. Okay, that's inconvenient. Let's just use a regular wooden power pole for this and this. Okay, very nice. So we now have mining drills getting made automatically. That is super exciting. Yay. Okay, and what else we got going on here? I think we just need a one of those and we're kind of good. We're making progress. Let's let those get going. You too. We need assembling machines made. Let's put you there and you there. Anything that's blank right now is a low priority, obviously. 
So let's just keep this there. Okay, I don't know what that's for. Let's get that up there. Okay, cool. We have tons of red inserters now. Perfect. Let's go ahead and release them to the wild. Let's go. And we have also, we have a few of these. Oh, why is, oh, it's limited by the circuit, of course. So you'll see a lot, of, if you use this blueprint, you'll see a lot of circuits. Like you can see this tiny little red line there. That means that this box is circuit controlled. So usually what I'll do in a box like this is I'll control it saying, okay, if there's less than 100 in the box, then keep making more and keep working, right? This one um, is, I don't think this one is limited at all, but sometimes I'll limit it to say, well, you know, if you, um, we want to have at least 50 of these to so keep 50 in the box. That should be what's happening here, but it isn't. Um, is this one? No, it's not. So usually what I'll do is I'll put a circuit on that box, which we're going to do right now. See, was that intentional or was it a mistake? Hmm, who knows? Anyway, what we'll do is we'll attach this one and we'll say if the blue inserters are greater than 50, because I want 50 in the box at all times. Actually, let's do 100 in the box at all times. Oh, no, 50. 50 because this one is limiting it to 200. Okay. You know what? We'll say if it's greater than 100, because we're going to build a bunch of stuff, then you can make filter inserters. Because filter inserters are not that um, important right now. We don't really need them. We already have 34 of them. So we're pretty good. Thanks. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the thing that you can do. And this box later is going to be a buffer box where we can return old inserters because eventually we're going to move completely to blue inserters. So now, uh, what are we? What are we working on now? We are. We have these um, these things. We have all this stuff to put down. Hooray! Uh, we just got solar energy. Wow, that's great. So we're gonna get. Let's get logistics too. We're going to get lab research speed one. That's what will make the labs work faster. We'll get engines as well, because those are also like top level components of getting to other stuff like railways. Let's go ahead and research trains. We need them. So we're going to research all of the signals and the train stuff in the same. It's luckily in the same category. I know <clears throat> that there are other mods where they're in different categories, which makes no sense at all. But anyway, um, yeah, we can now make solar panels. And since we have a huge amount of land here, uh, we might as well add some solar panels. We might as well just make huge solar fields. Um, and I have a really nice blueprint for one, which we'll get making uh, eventually. So let's see. I'm going to look on my mall blueprint. I might actually have them in the boutiques. Are they there? They are there. They are one, two, three, four. They're four from the end. Uh, we do need accumulators for them. Okay, we need we need these thingies. Hello? Oh, we can't make them because of lack of gears. That's inconvenient. Let's see. I'm going to make some gears just by hand. Put them in these machines. Oh, my God. I've eaten all the iron. All of the iron. I'll give you these gears and give you the rest of them. And they need steel as well. That is a thing that we definitely need to make an array for, is the steel. I'm going to turn off my RoboPort again. Because I want to, basically, when I get these things, I want to place stuff where it needs to be. There we go. Nice. Which is going to be... Okay, there we go. There we go. I wanted those last two because we wanted to put here. These are going to be the solar panels. So let's make those happen. Why is this out of power? I'm, I don't know. It's really odd because like you would think I would catch that when I, I mean, I've edited these blueprints so many times, but sometimes it feels like, okay, just forgot it or something. Anyway, uh, we are going to need some more structures in order to fully make our uh, blueprint work because we need um, substations and accumulators. So solar panels will work during the daytime so they can save us coal during the day, but they can't hold energy at night because obviously you can't collect light from the moon. That's not a thing. 
And so then we need a battery, which is basically an accumulator. It's like a giant battery that we're going to use with this. So those happen with oil. Okay, we'll turn these on temporarily. Oh my god, this is a mess here. Okay, there we go. All right, there we are. Nice. Turn those off. So I'm going to go ahead and make a steel array down here as well. Now in my blueprint book, those are under production. Uh, they're not here though. Are they under production? Ooh. No, raw resources. That's where they are. No, they're not raw resources. Oh my god. This is so embarrassing. I've completely forgotten. Defense, malls, production. They have to be here, right? Early game. Is there a book? Smelting! Oh my god. How did I not see that? Anyway, we want to do smelting of steel. Okay. This is the wrong one. This is the wrong one. Uh, this one? No. We want steel smelting. But we want the belt going that way. Oh no, this way. Uh, yes, this way. There we go. This is what we want. I was looking for this, this belt here to go the correct direction, basically. All right, we're going to let our bots build this whole thing because I don't want to build it by hand. Um, and we also need more miners. I forgot to make miners. I forgot to grab miners. We also definitely need, um, more furnaces. So let's grab those. And we're just going to go and grab the things we need. We, uh, to turn these lines on, by the way, I think it's F4. And you do the, you can search this, by the way. It's show player robots. That's what the lines are. They are not a mod. It is just to keep track of your robots. And trust me, in series past, people are like, oh my god, K1, stop running away from your robots. I'm like, uh, whoops, uh, whoops. Anyway, uh, let's get some... Uh, looks like we need these, those, and these, and what did we need again? Red inserters, a lot of them. Uh, I forgot what else we need. We needed those, those, those. Okay. Some belts, some regular inserters, but we have those as proven by our little hotbar. Let's grab the insert. Oh, 100 fast inserters. Oh my god, that's sexy! Ah! Just makes you want to almost cry. It's so beautiful. Anyway. Uh, we do have this thing, which is supposed to grab pipes. Uh, if it, if any ever come to it. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, let's grab 43 more curved pipes, underground pipes, under flowies, if you will. The, oh, okay. We had a little meow. I don't know if you heard that or not. The microphone may not pick up the meows of the cat. I'm not sure if it does. It's uh, a new shotgun microphone, which is very directed in how it uh, picks up sound. So the meows of the cat may not apply there, unfortunately. I forgot the miners. That's what I needed. Okay, let's go back. Hi, Emma. Oh, such a sweetie. Love that cat. She's, she's my little bud. Okay. All right, so miners, that's what we were going to buy at the mall. There we go. We have six. How, man? How do we only have six? It looks like a very severe shortage of, you guessed it, iron. Oh, my God. Yeah, we definitely need more iron. So we might consider doing an actual injection onto the bus because we, we kind of need it. Um Okay, this is going to be the steel. So I want to hook this up to something. Uh, let me just take this. Wait, what? Oh, they already placed them. Oh, no. Oh, no. So here, I do want to do the balancing thing here. Just to make sure that we can fill out whatever it needs. Let's do this one. Do oh, actually, this one doesn't need to be there. So take this one. Boom. You go there. You can go here. Good. And then we need more stuff and things. Let's see. This one can be helped just immediately by placing a power pole. 
Uh, let's go here. These poor robots. <laughs> I'm such a tease. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, mm hmm. Okay, so we have these two lines, and the third one might come here. For now, uh, I think I would like to just combine it anyway. Uh, so we get a tiny bit of steel going on. I know that's not going to be great for stuff, but it'll be fine. So let's take this also. Remember to shift click uh, if you're using bots in sections where... You might go over the scrub over here or trees. So this is going to go here. There we go. Okay. Sometimes the belt even goes underneath trees. How they do not move, we do not know. We're not asking questions. It is fine. Do not worry. <laughs> Anyway, here's an injection of steel onto the bus, so let's do that. Actually, I'm not going to say that word too many times because we don't want to distort the meaning. The meaning is that we are adding stuff from outside at a later date. So take that one. Okay, there we go. So this is all we're already going on to one side. So we're going to get a little bit of steel with this procedure. Not a lot, mind you, but a little bit. Um, I do want to make sure that we have more miners. Hello, miners. Hey, you're missing stuff. Two. They have two. Oh, man. Yeah, we definitely need an injection of iron onto the bus. So I think I'd like to build another mining setup over there. Or a smelting setup, I should say. Let's go and grab some more uh, furnaces. We only have 11, so we're going to need two sets. We'll just leave this. Actually, you know what we should do? We should just build another one. Yeah, we'll just build another one. That's easy. Easy peasy. Except for the fact that we don't have any miners. Again. Gosh darn it. I don't think I've ever built two of these ever. <laughs> Honestly, I think I've only built one, but I'm not feeling very patient right now. This is this is my limit of patience here. So here, yeah, we definitely need to fill these out with more miners. Um, but yeah, having that secondary uh, iron smelting is going to be massively productive for us. It's good. It's going to be good. So for that, hmm. What I think we need to do is put coal on the bus. We, we do need coal on the bus anyway. Uh, what I'm going to do is get rid of some of these trees because I can't see anything of what I'm doing here. So let's do a coal belt here. And this thing can help power those injection areas, especially if they're close by. We are going to need it for plastic anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's not like an extra thing that we have to do. Okay, let's go back. That seems fine. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, this is a mess and a half. All right, fine. Okay. It's miraculously... Oh yeah, there was a piece there. There was a piece. Since all of our smelting is not going to be connected together. So in the past, uh, if you've never seen a series of mine before, I usually have masses of smelting, like eight or ten of these of iron and, and same for copper. And we really make a lot of stuff, right? But this time we're doing things a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... How do I want to do this? Um, wait, actually, we don't need to walk there. So here's the thing. Do we want to, we want to have coal coming up? Yeah, coal coming upward. So we need the opposite of these guys. We do have them in our blueprint book, so we don't need to worry. Production, smelting, er, sm okay, early game. No, go, go, go away. Smelting. So this thing is the wrong direction. Smelting stone, 48x, this way. That's the correct way. Right. Okay. So this is what we want. 
There's so many different variations. Believe me, it is just, it's, it was like, um, so annoying to set that up. But, oh, we could do this instead. I think we do this, actually. I think we do this. Yes. Let's do this. We'll put like, let's put two because that's how many lines we said we're going to have of iron. We'll do two full lines of iron here. Uh, okay. Yes. And then this one goes here and goes there and actually goes in this side. Yep. Do that instead. Oh, we hear an Emma. Can you hear the Emma? Hello, Emma. Oh my goodness, we brought an, we brought a rubber band to fetch with. She has this giant rubber band that she found, and she bit 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 part of it. Hello, Emma. Here you go. Whoosh. Anyway, she cut it in half, so it's a long string of a rubber band. She loves strings, so I'm not surprised she did this. Um. So anyway, <laughs> it's a bit hilarious. I, I find it very cute and very 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 funny. Okay, so we need to have two of these going down. Put that here. One of them going up. Oh my goodness, Emma. You wanted me to throw it again. Okay. Whoosh. It's rare that she fetches, so it's quite like... I don't know, I feel like I love to play with her when she does this fetch thing. It's very like a little doggy. You wouldn't be uh, mistaken in, in saying that for sure. Okay, so you go down here. Too bad it's just one off. That's a bit funny. Uh, here we go. Okay, so these are pretty much set up. We just need the belts. All right, let's grab some belts here. What else do we need? It is literally belts. Okay, cool. Belts and miners, of course. Oh, that time we got 30 or so, I think. I think she dropped it on the floor. Last time she was bringing it all the way up to the table. Got lazy, I think, little thing. So cute, that little little person. Love that little person so much. Okay, so let's get... Oh, she brought it up here. She learned. She's a smart girl. Okay, Emma. Okay, Emma. Ready? Whoosh. I always say the whoosh sound. I don't know why she likes it, but she does like the whoosh sound. It's a thing. Uh, okay, take this and under groundies. And, oh, we need inserters as well. Okay, let's take these inserters. We're good on the other inserters. Uh, miners, of course, needed. Always. Always. So, let's set up some mining. Actually, we don't want these that close because we might want to just kind of shove them all into the same thingy because it's kind of a weird little patch here I'm not that big of a fan here it's okay now you can copy these things um, but because they're so short it's like okay where do we even copy from oh we got an Emma Emma's back Emma's back Emma Let's go. I hope you can hear those cute kitteny sounds that she makes. They are absolutely adorable. Okay, and go here. Yay. And then power poles along here. And one needed there. Okay, nice. So what's going to happen with these is we really want to just add them together until we have enough for a particular um, smelting array, right? And what we tend to do with multiple things like this, because this is going to slow down and, and make actual, you know, production at some point. But what we tend to do with stuff like this is that we um, shove it all to one side. So you have this like area where at least one line is completely full. At least completely full. I don't know if you heard that. Sorry, I'm like turning around to it and I forget I'm using a different microphone. It doesn't pick up everything, if, especially if I'm not talking into it. So anyway, okay, this is looking pretty nice here. 
Um, but we don't have the coal yet, so let's grab that. Uh, and then take it just down here. All right. And instead of this coming off... Um, right, this is going to go there. We don't need this. This is going to stop. And these... Let's just do a long kind of thing there. I think that's best. So these are going to be... Okay, these are the copper ones that are supposed to be going. But right now, we only have this stuff. Did you bring it again? Oh my goodness, kitten! Goodness, kitten. Whoosh. She is in a fetching mood today. I mean, literally fetching like a dog. Uh, it's a d absolutely adorable. I love this cat so much. Like, I can't even tell you how, how cute she is. Um, but yeah, she's, she's bringing this rubber band up to me, up to her little orange cat bed on my desk and dropping it off. And she's just, yeah, she's bringing the thing. Oh, that's wrong. Oh no! Oh god, really? Ha ha ha! That's so dumb, man. That was so, so dumb. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just a little squiggle. We like squiggly noodly things, right? It's good stuff. It's fantastic. Uh huh. It's fine. Do not worry. It will be fine. Okay, you need plates. Do I have any plates? I don't really have any plates. I should I should come and bring you gifts of plates. Because this side's got plenty of plates. Look at this. Look at all these plates. All the plates. Also, we are now getting solar panels. So these solar panels can be put into a chest. I, I'm surprised I don't have a chest set up because normally I do. But we actually have some solar panels so we can put around um until we get proper areas for this so let's just put them here for now hey emma oh my goodness what did you bring for me did you bring a little rubber band for me come on over come on come along Whoosh. i think she holds it sometimes too hard in her teeth and so like it starts to get shorter and shorter i do know for a fact though she doesn't eat it so don't worry there's no um i i mean i i take care of the safety of this first, obviously. Um, if she was eating it, I definitely wouldn't let her play with rubber bands, but she doesn't eat them. She just bites them, and I find little tiny pieces on the floor every now and again. Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit silly, but that's how Emma works. She's just a funny little cat. Love that little girl. Okay, here we go. So, let's take this, and of course, power poles are needed. Yep, there we go. Okay, and this one, uh, what we're going to do is start this. Oh my god, it's getting shorter. Emma, come on, let's go. Whoosh. Yeah, I should buy just like a bag of like really long rubber bands because she likes shoelaces. She loves how long they are, but she also has a really big thing for rubber bands. I don't know what it is, but she does. Anyway, okay, let's take this up here instead and take these off. So this is going to come from the next one. So what we want to do is we want to do a series of shovers, right? Uh, we're going to do a output priority right and make them all go to the right, right? I mean, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. And then we, we, okay, we're going to get more drills. Hooray. And so eventually these should fill up. Okay, the coal is finally... Oh, that's a mistake on the blue... No, I don't know what happened there. Because these are correct. These ones are correct. Is that one correct? Yes, the arrows are going the right way. That's weird. I don't know. Weird. So, all right. So we have this. We have a new injection onto the bus. Hooray! We are already starting our philosophy. This is exciting. What are we missing for greens? Hello? Uh, plates. Oh, we're missing plates. Of course, because we have completely taken off plates. That's why there are no plates. Mm. 
Now then, I am going to put in the, uh, just get rid of the ore here because we don't need it. And then the wood, hmm. I think I should make some more power poles. You know what? I'm going to have a thing doing power poles for me. I think. I think I want a thing doing power poles for me. Let's make a thing here where we have a machine. Let's turn off the bots. <laughs> I feel like they're going to pilfer this as soon as I get uh, hold of some. They might well do. Okay, so this thing is going to go here. So you are going to take copper, um, make it into... I think it requires copper cable. And then these make power poles. And these need a chest here and here. And this is going to be wood. All the wood we can handle. Yes. Go. Is that right? Yeah, copper cable. And then... So this thing makes two per one piece of thing. These, the, and these need how many? Two copper cable, okay. I don't know, what, no, we don't need them that fast, it's fine. Let's just curb our tendencies for perfect production. It's okay to not have, uh, yeah, anyway. All right, you get more science and now Hopefully, yes, we see some iron, iron plates, boom. And the reason we don't see more is the coal hasn't percolated uh, fast enough. So maybe we need more coal production. It does look like it's a bit thin coming through here. So that means we need to figure out a little bit better production with this. Uh, and that of course is more mining drills, of course. Let's see, we need to make more mining drills here. Let's just do that. Let's get rid of these. Oops, we need to turn our guys on, our little, little dudes on, go. Oops, let's go space, because we need a space for power poles, of course. Okay, and you come here. Oh no, that, that's a power pole line. Whoopsies. Okay, so let's take these, go this way. Okay, very good. Excellent, and more very goodness is happening. Okay, what we need to do though, I think, is we need to connect it up here. So let's take these and we can take this one this way. Actually, what we could do is just do this. Put that there and save ourselves some belts. Perfect. There we go. All right. Very nice. Uh, we just need to add a few more miners, but that is already giving us a little bit of improved production on the iron there. So that's great. Hooray. So what do we need? We need a, um, some belts, definitely. Pipes. Miners. More miners! We'll never be done with miners. Okay, so that should help this. It already looks like half of it is working, so that's good. That's something. All right, I think that is all we have time for. Emma is back, so... Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, I would really appreciate it if you do some interactions with YouTube because that's how the algorithm gets fed. So commenting, liking, subscribing, that kind of thing. I usually say automate that uh, like button because, you know, if you could just click it every day, that would be awesome. Uh, it definitely helps and counts as engagement. Engagement. Lovely word. YouTube, thank you very much for being you. Anyway. Um, yeah, and if you want to support my work uh, monetarily, do please uh, click on the Patreon link in the description below. I'm going to try to get Emma to meow into the microphone. Hello, Emma? Hello? Oh no, she doesn't, she doesn't meow when she's held. She has a very, it's like an off switch. You press, you, you, you hold the Emma and she doesn't meow. It's like fail safe. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>